specific when you say that you realize we've all been traumatized? Yeah, I'll go on that more today, but here, let me put it in a nutshell. If you study the symptoms of trauma, which is a pretty newly developed field in terms of understanding the specifics and the details. Trauma was not an area of study, not even a term that was really understood until recently. And actually one of the real influences on recognizing that there are such a thing as, I mean, we began to understand something called post-traumatic stress from the Vietnam vets, that was influential. But the women's movement actually uh, had a big influence on understanding particularly the kind of trauma I'm talking about, childhood trauma. So if you examine the symptoms of trauma in an individual, uh, they're, they're a particular, you know, they're very specific. And you find that collectively to be true. One of the most obvious ones that you see is when a person has been repeatedly traumatized, the reactions to trauma and stress basically are, there's, there's, we understand that the, the autonomic nervous, the, the reptilian level of our being responds in various particular ways. Fight, flight, and freeze. We learn that in biology, right? People tend to remember flight and, uh, fight and flight, but people tend to kind of leave freeze out for some reason. I don't know why they've kind of, that one's not, I think maybe because most people are frozen. So, what you see, what I believe is happening right now, individually and collectively, is uh, the third picture. Basically, dissociation is the way that manifests. Just not being present. And that's a way, it's a strategy for survival. It's too much. It's too much to recognize that your neighbors are ready to kill each other, or they're doing it, you know, every other night, they're ready to, like, murder each other. It's too much to realize that the, the children, I won't say the kids or the young people, the children that live around the corner have guns. It's too much to realize what's happening, how many people are being put into prison. It's too much to realize that what's happening in Iraq. It's too much to realize what's happening in Africa. It's too much to take it in. It's overwhelming. How do we, so one of the ways we deal with it, sur, is to survive with it is to shut down. Turn on friends. Turn on the television. Here is a fact, and this is not a little fact. We all need to like take this in. For the one who reflects, Quran says, in yourself and on the horizon there are signs for the one who reflects. The one who reflects is the nature of a real, awake, concerned, responsible human being. It's the way of a Muslim. We must reflect on these things authentically and appropriately. Here's something. What is the largest growth industry in the world? What is the largest growth industry in the world? Higher, more money than the arms. Drugs. Illicit drugs. Not legal drugs. Illicit drugs. That means heroin and cocaine primarily. The largest growth industry in the world. What does that say? Oh yeah, it means blah, 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 blah. Let's, uh, time to go to work. No, you know what I mean? We don't, we do not take in what that means. It is not a good sign. So, so that's, I mean, that's what I'm saying in a nutshell. Individually, we withdraw, we dissociate, we disconnect. We turn to drugs, we turn to television, we turn to eating, we turn to anything that keeps us from being present and facing both ourselves and our own circumstances and the circumstances of what's around us. But it's a very serious, uh, that's an illness to do that to an extreme. I mean, we need to do it for survival. There's a, there's a degree of denial that is healthy, right? Any uh, psychologists, therapists in here? No? People have studied psychology. I mean, we live in an age in which psychology has become an intimate part of the general narrative, the popular narrative. I mean, it's, yes. I mean, it, to a great degree. I mean, they make movies now about pretty deep psychological concepts. And actually, they're pretty accurate in some cases. In some, I mean, more or less. They, you know, they have the Hollywood edge on them and so forth. 